What's up? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network. And this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to our sponsor, in case you didn't know, that's icydk.blog. Once again, icydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices and the World Wide Web. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe. So you do, or hit the notification bell so you do not miss one video. Let's go. Let's get it kicked off with the girl Riri. And we are a little bit over one week away from her Super Bowl performance. Now, along the way, we have heard some things that, you know, Rihanna wasn't practicing the way she should be practicing. And she was having issues with, you know, uh, who she's going to bring out, if she's going to bring out anybody, you know, um, securing guests to come, you know, changing her mind at certain guests, certain, certain other guests not being able to make it. So as of right now, it's not been announced who she's going to uh, bring out. I think it's going to probably be announced uh, a little later on, maybe closer today, or maybe she'll keep the surprise. But I have heard that Eminem, I have heard, of course, Jay-Z was helping out the show, so I do expect Jay-Z to come out there. So you let me know down in the comments, who do you expect Rihanna to bring out with her? Now, just some accolades, Rihanna is, uh, notified, is, is certified as the highest uh, certified female artist in U.S. and U.K. history. Let that sink in. She is the highest certified female artist in U.S. and U.K. history. Now, you let me know down in the comments, is Rihanna the GOAT? Is, is she the queen? I mean, they, they say the queen of pop is Madonna. Is Rihanna the GOAT? So let me know down in the comments. You know, it's an interesting argument. <clears throat> they kind of already gave that title to Madonna. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, Rihanna, I would love to see what the next chapter brings. So looking forward to that Super Bowl performance. Moving on to this woman here. The queen of music, Beyonce. And she has announced that the Renaissance Tour will kick off in May. I believe they said it was May 10th. All right. And Beyonce... Go over some of her accolades since we're talking about Beyonce. The first artist in history to chart simultaneously at number one on 23 different Billboard charts. And this is going to be a complete world tour for Beyonce. Complete world tour. Um, the website broke. <laughs> the website crashed once she announced the Renaissance Tour. All right. So, uh, Taylor Swift and Beyonce both touring this year. So, let me know uh, who you going to see. If you had a choice, if you're going to see Taylor Swift or Beyonce, who would you go see? I mean, hell, I, I got to say Beyonce if, if you had a choice between the two. She's set to kick off this Renaissance World Tour on May 10th in Stockholm, Sweden. Wow, so Beyonce, and I'm sure those visuals are coming. The closer we get to her tour starting, you're going to see these Renaissance visuals, I believe. So shout out to that girl, Beyonce. Look at her, sexy so. The noteworthy dates. She starts off in May. She's going to be going for two months. She finally comes to... Uh, Toronto, Canada in uh, July, on July 9th. Uh, she will be in New York on July 29th. Um, she will be in Atlanta on August 11th. Right? And then she ends up, she ends the show in, in uh, the New Orleans, Louisiana Superdome, of course, in September. So this is a four-month world tour. Wow. Gotta get there. Moving on to that girl Lotto, and it looks like she teased some new music. 
Take a little listen to this. Heard that, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm I'm feeling the vibe. Feel like Pop Lotto is loading. And I'll tell you, we have to start talking about is Lotto, is she up there now with the big four? The big four would, would be, you know, even though I, I really consider the big three. The big three, of course, is Nikki, uh, Cardi, and Megan. Um, if, if, if the, for the ones that consider Doja Cap a rapper, I don't, uh, you'd put her in there, but I think Lotto would probably have to be number five now, you know, for a long time because of the streams and what have you, Sweetie was rolling around that five slot, but it's, it's clearly Lotto is clearly, you know, up, up there now in that fit slot. And I believe because of, you know, these Grammys that are coming up. If Lotto can come out of there with both of those Grammys, two Grammys, you know, out, out from this year, oh man, <laughs> you're gonna have to start looking at Lotto in a different light. A lot of people talk about, you know, sales and streams. It's not only about sales and streams. Like I said, numbers are important, but you have to add everything. It's not just numbers. You have to add everything. But numbers, of course, is important. So, that's the reason why I tell people, you just can't use numbers when it benefits you. But these Grammys are also part. That's like the championship ring. That's like playing in, in basketball and football and say, oh, I never won a championship. That doesn't matter. It does matter. So we're going to see what happens if Lotto can pull up these two Grammys. Man, that'd be something to see. But I'm definitely looking forward to this new song. I like the sounds of it so far. I have to shout out my GOAT, uh, my favorite female rapper of all time, Missy Elliott. She is the first rapper, female rapper, to get nominated until the to get nominated for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Class of 2003. Missy Elliott, White Stripes, George Michael, Iron Maiden. Um, Missy Elliott, uh, also alongside George Michael. Cindy Lauper, they're also nominated for the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And it's just an incredible accomplishment for Missy Elliott. Let, let's uh, let some of the words that Missy Elliott had to say about being uh, nominated. So Missy quoted as saying, I've cried my eyes out. I've always dreamed big, but to be nominated for this is bigger than I've dreamed. And I am so humbly grateful to the Rock and Roll Hall and to all my fans who helped me get here to please vote. And then you, she has a link where you can vote her into the Hall of Fame. And I think she's going to get in. I think she's going to get in. Um... Tribe Called Quest also has been nominated. So we'll, we'll see if they get in. I mean, what an accomplishment from Missy Elliott. And like I said, she's my favorite female. I, when I say my goat, whoever. I, I recognize that uh, universally, uh, Nicki Minaj is probably recognized as the goat um, of female rappers. Right? Some people say Lauren Hill. Some people say Lil' Kim. Right? But... My favorite female rap of all time is Missy Elliott. She's clearly the most creative. Um, she took female rap and as, as form as music videos to another level, like to levels where, you know, you've never seen it going. If you go back and look at her music videos, they were just so like next level more than everyone else's. So congratulations to my girl, Missy Elliott. Elliot, and where do you have Missy ranked? I have her on the Mount Rushmore along with Kim, um, Nicki Minaj, and MC Light. I have her on the Mount Rushmore female rappers. Let me know where do you have Missy at, you know, all time. Just a quick shout out to The Weeknd. We're gonna have to start talking about The Weeknd and where he's at all time because Blinding Lights, okay is the most streamed song in Spotify history. And it's biggest song of all time on the top, on the Hot 100. Let that sink in. The most streamed song in Spotify history 
and is the biggest song of all time on the Hot 100? Man, y'all better start putting some respect on this boy's name. Now, The Weeknd is also the first black artist to have 10 songs, each with over 1 billion streams in Spotify history. And I know a lot of people, when they think of Drake and they think of The Weeknd, I guess because they're Canadians, they don't, people don't consider them black. But these are black men. They're black men because they recognize themselves as black men. He also holds the record for the most monthly listeners in the platform history. 96.6 million monthly listeners on Spotify. Boy, I know this Spotify checks be lit. Shout out to The weekend. Terrible Super Bowl performance, but we won't hold that against you. Not a great performer. Right, I'd much rather see Bruno Mars, but you let me know where are you putting the weekend in in history. You have him ahead of Bruno Mars. Do you think he's a bigger talent than Bruno Mars? I don't think he's more talented than Bruno Mars. Do you make him? Do you think he's a better artist than Bruno Mars? Let me know what you think about the weekend and why you feel. Do you feel as though the weekend is underappreciated? And if so, why? Let me know down in the comments. That's what the comments are for. It's your boy Evan Hollywood. For the IE Network, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Peace.